Okay, um, there's been some questions about how to clean your stuffed animals after you've made them and you've given them to your loved ones and they get chocolate and food and probably puke and other things on their stuffed animals and you want to know how to clean them. I've just got done cleaning my son and I did it in different pillowcases. I wouldn't suggest washing them, just throwing them in the wash without putting them in a pillowcase and closing the top of the pillowcase because they will get, the yarn will get really roughed up and it's really hard to clean up and I had to do that with one of his stuffed animals which is how I know you don't throw it, just throw it in the washing machine. You need to put it in a pillowcase and then tie it off and throw it in the wash. So, um, the first one I'll show you is the dragon. It's been through the wash and of course the ends will come out. You'll need to crochet hook back the ends. That's no problem. This is the Homespun Lions brand yarn and it held up actually really good when put into just a cotton pillowcase. Um, don't use don't use um, the flannel pillowcases and the reason being is I used a flannel pillowcase and the lion as you can see has stuff on it. It's fixable, it's just more tedious and I'll kind of tell you how to go about doing that. But now this yarn that he was made out of, which is um, a fluffy yarn, it usually shows up in the baby yarn stuff, and it can go through the, it, you can just throw it in the uh, washing machine, you don't have to put it in a pillowcase, and uh, all I have to do is retuck in the in there, so uh, this particular kind of yarn came out perfect. the um, Red Heart brand with uh, with Love did really good in just a regular cotton. As you can see, I'll just have to tuck in my ends. So for the most part, all the lions, I mean the Red Heart brand stuff, when put into a cotton pillowcase, comes out fine. So here's the giraffe, and again, I need to tuck my ends in. And the one that might be a question is one where you do hair like this, where you've just kind of looped it in. And this one was put in a cotton, um, a cotton pillowcase and just sent through the wash and I do not dry any of these. None of them are dry. You need to let them air dry. That's also very important because if you put them in the dryer that will mess up the and make them fuzzy like make it even worse than this one. And uh, again I've sent stuffed animals through and I know how that happens. So, But um, pillowcase cotton, no flannel, none with a texture, smooth cotton pillowcase. Put them in, tie off the end, send them through the wash. I send it through a cold cycle and regular detergent and they come out looking really good. You just have to tuck your ends in and you may have to go in and snip a few strays. Um, I'm actually doing this after everyone's gone to bed because, you know, that's the time when you can do this kind of thing for your kids. So I've got to get these cleaned up a little bit and tuck the ends in and get ready for him to be able to play with his toys tomorrow. But, yeah, that's, that's how you want to go about it. So you want to do cold water in a cotton pillowcase, no flannel and you can use regular detergent, do not dry, and the only thing you should have to do is tuck your ends in that come out through the wash, and maybe snip a few extra 
strands that came out, and that's it. That's how you clean up your stuffed animals after the kids have gone in and made a mess of them. So I hope this is helpful information, and I hope to be getting you another video on more about what I'll be working on and what's to come and everything. But I wanted to do a quick video on um, how to wash your stuffed animals once the children have gotten hold of them. And so I almost forgot how to go in and repair a stuffed animal that has turned into this. So what I typically do is get the major chunks pull the major chunks off that don't belong. And you can take I've lost my scissors, but you can take scissors and cut the edges off too. And then if you have some smaller ones that you want to get off and you don't. You can't just pull them off. You can take um, one of these little stinger um, things. I don't know what you call them. My fiance ordered it, but they're great for getting the little flex things that build up through friction on clothes and everything. And if you use this on these, what you want to do is just lightly, kind of barely touch the yarn and it'll just get that edging off and that's kind of how you go in and you fix it. So I'm not going to turn this on because it's kind of loud and I'm doing this with everybody in bed already asleep, which is how I work most of the time. But yeah, you, um, you can go in and you can pull off the extra and then you can go in and snip with scissors. And then if for no other reason, pull out your tool to get off the little flicks that you normally get on your clothing and you just don't don't stray off and grind it in there just lightly go in and that'll pull the rest of it up and that's how you clean up one that ended up doing this by for some reason accident you um, forgot to put it in a pillowcase or you put it in the wrong kind of pillowcase. I can say that you don't use flannel and um, that's how you go in and you clean it up. So hopefully I will have you another video on kind of what's going on and updates and that kind of thing. Um, but I just wanted to get this video to you on how to clean your stuffed animals and everything. This was helpful, and I will be back to give you some more information later. Alrighty.